Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles back again for another review. This time it's the new LEGO Space Shuttle and Hubble Space Telescope set. And this is the Hubble Telescope that you see there. Um, I do have the previous Saturn V and the Lunar Lander sets. And now I did pass on the uh, International Space Station, but um, between this 1st of May and the 5th of May, uh, they've actually got double VIP points um, for that. Um, to coincide, I guess, with the Star Wars double VIP points. So I got um, the Star Wars, the, the new Darth Vader helmet and the um, Scout Trooper helmet. And I also got the Space Station and I think I've got one more thing and I can't remember what that is. Uh, but uh, I've got both of those sets coming. Uh, so hopefully you can uh, subscribe and stay tuned for all of that. But on to this set. Um, this set, they, I think they could have um, easily have released as a separate set altogether uh, but luckily they included it with the space shuttle and uh, it does look pretty amazing I love the uh, sticker there well I don't actually love the sticker but I love the plaque <laughs> that it's on um, if this thing is actually focusing um, so European Space Agency and NASA there so all the details I love the way they've designed this so that it's um, it doesn't sit uh, sturdily um, or attached fully to the stand here. It's just on those little couple of pegs. You just uh, peg it nice there. And uh, it's uh, all very stable on that particular stand. Um, luckily, I don't think there were any stickers that I needed to put on here. I think there's a, a nice print that unfortunately is on the, the bottom there with the NASA logo and so on. But everything else um, is a print. Um, but luckily, uh, all of these metallic pieces uh, painted um, and one thing I noticed I don't know if you can actually make out every piece has a scratch on exactly the same point um, so when I first started assembling it I thought um, the scratches were uh, just random uh, but looking at all of them there's like a scratch I'm not sure if uh, the light can make you pick it out but there's a scratch on every single piece there's like a diagonal scratch uh, which is very annoying to be honest. I'm not sure why that is or if it was just something in the machinery or or their painting process um, but uh, I would have thought they'd uh, fix something like that but um, either way um, the other parts of the, the set itself I love these solar arrays with this sort of I don't know if it's plastic or some sort of vinyl material uh, but they are flexible which is, which is good um, and I guess in real life they do roll out um, to form that whole sort of um, sheet I think just hold on I'll grab the other piece to attach this inside the uh, spatial itself it has these couple of pieces that represent pretty much uh, the solar arrays as they're rolled up um, and when the whole shuttle sort of uh, the telescope deploys it unfolds out to that full array uh, which is pretty damn cool um, love the fact that they've got this aperture opener that you can close um, I think when you have it inside the shuttle uh, but of course as it's taking its uh, beautiful um, astronomical photos and so on um, it would have that aperture open um, all the other details I love the sort of ending at the bottom there it all looks very nice and to scale um, but uh, that's pretty much it for for this I'm not going to have it displayed inside the shuttle I'll have it uh, displayed uh, separately next to it, um, probably with the Lunar Lander and um, uh, Saturn V. So I'm trying to work out where in my room I can have a, a bit of a NASA focus. But um, on to the main piece, of course, uh, which is the shuttle. Hold on. All right, so I had to make sure I could zoom out far enough to get it all in frame. But um, as you can see, this thing is absolutely awesome. As soon as I got the Saturn V, one of the first things I wished they had made was a space shuttle um, and the previous versions I think through their other sort of um, more uh, child friendly um, sets uh, just didn't quite um, have the same sort of um, accuracy that I was looking for um, so I'm definitely glad that they announced this uh, version more for adult collectors I think uh, but um, nothing too difficult in the assembly but um, there were a few new techniques that I'd never come across before um, but um, it was a very enjoyable build except for one part um, that I think a lot of people will struggle with um, and it's one area that LEGO really need to, to sort of fix 
uh, particularly for more expensive sets like this. So as you open up, you see all of these mirror stickers and that took me absolutely forever to, to put in. Um, I'm no sort of uh, sticker expert or anything like that, but uh, I did have a, a little tool that, that helped me out. Um, and if you don't have those little tools, uh, you're really going to struggle. And it took me at least oh, 50 to 60 minutes to try and do it. Um, for the most part, I got them as straight as I could. Uh, there are a few where it sort of gets a little bit wonky, but um, by that time it was pretty much a uh, fuck it. It's, it's too hard to, to fix. Um, luckily, there's no bubbling or anything like that. Uh, but if uh, you're you know, doing these with your kids and so on, um, you really are going to need to help them out with uh, these stickers. Um, I don't know why they can't just print them. Uh, they are, there are quite a few other printed pieces like the, um, the US logo here, um, even on this one here. But there are a few other stickers as well, like the NASA logo at the back there, Discovery at the front. They are all stickers, but uh, the panels up the top here, they are prints. So um, it can be done, I just don't know why they choose not to in some cases. And uh, oh, I guess thank God the cockpit here is a print because I think um, I've had stickers like that in the past on I think their Star Wars UCS sets for I think it was the X-Wing or the Snow Trooper or both and doing those curved uh, stickers really scares the shit out of me and uh, thank God they've printed that one uh, but really they could have printed pretty much all of them um, and it would have made the whole build experience uh, that much more enjoyable um, it was enjoyable overall um, and the way it all comes together is uh, quite satisfying but um, the stickers on the inside here I think uh, were almost at a point where it was going to ruin it for me um, but luckily um, it all turned out okay um, internally this is the cargo bay so you have the robot arm here to, to do all of the uh, maneuvering and I think each one has like this little attachment um, which uh, is meant to represent uh, cameras I think um, and there's an antenna back on this side on the other side over there um, so it's all really nice and accurate um, or as accurate as, as, as it can be for, for this sort of scale um, I think it does look pretty cool with the Hubble inside there is a mounting mechanism that uh, you also get that you can uh, I think it's in that direction you place it in there but um, I I won't bother having it on display like that. It looks pretty good when it's all sort of closed up. Um, and when it is all uh, set up, I think some of the best parts of the construction, I think, I love how these attach um, at all the angles. Just the way in which they bring the angles together, how, about how the, the tail fin here connects in. Um, it's just... You always sort of wonder how they are going to fill in the gaps or meet these angles like the, the nose cone here. Uh, but uh, they've the designer obviously worked out some fantastic ways to, to get it all to, to fit in. Uh, the base at the bottom here, similar to the telescope, it doesn't sort of um, hold in place. You can't easily lift it up. And uh, I do love the feature here. If I just um, lower it a little bit, uh, you might get a view of a little bit of the underside. It's not too... Um, it's pretty clean, it's just pretty much black panels if you can see that there, which is pretty accurate. And I love how you can, um, if I can just do that, and you push this beam thing at the back here, and then the wheels come out, and you can pretty much have it uh, sitting flat on the, the ground like that as it uh, lands, which does look pretty cool too. Um, so plenty of options for display, I, I will have it on the, the stand itself. Um, in that sort of, uh, I guess you could think of it as a takeoff or a landing pose, uh, but it does look pretty good either way. And uh, you do have this rotation mechanism just on the thruster at the back there where you can move these, uh, I don't know if they're braking panels or whatever on the, the wings, uh, but that's a nice little cool play feature there. Um, but uh, overall in size, I think it's about 40 centimeters or so wide. Um, so it's pretty sizable um, and it just does make for a beautiful display piece. I think um, it would have been nice if they uh, made it easier to access the cockpit here. Um, but uh, you can't really, you need to sort of take off this bit here. And you get a view of some of the new prints that they've got there. A single seat there. And then this piece, you pretty much um, need to take off this top part. And there you get the rest of the cockpit um, 
Now there's only four seats so and a seat at the bottom there, so that's five. I thought, uh, I'm not quite sure where the other two sit. Normally I thought there were seven astronauts, so I'm not sure. Um, but uh, um, I'll have to check up on uh, Wikipedia or anything like that to, to see how they do the seven seat configuration. But uh, it pretty much just sort of fits back in there and sits in there pretty easily. So overall, a, another fantastic um, space engineering set from uh, Lego. Uh, I definitely am looking forward to getting the space station now um, and I think I will now that I'm starting to to get back to Ikea to figure out how I'm going to set up the rest of the home theater I will have some extra space to put these on display so having the Saturn V, the space shuttle, space station and the lunar lander I think pretty much sums up um, all the iconic uh, bits of NASA hardware that uh, I certainly love anyway so Hopefully you like my quick thoughts on this new Space Shuttle set uh, and can give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I do have a few things more coming up over the next uh, few weeks uh, from Lego as well, as well as some figures and so on from Big Bad Toy Store. So um, hopefully you can hang around for all of that. And until then, thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.